And now we are going to the people of the state of New Jersey. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do these real stuff on this finally. That'll be excellent. These processes take a lot of work on the part of individuals behind the scenes. Uh, GSPO started this process almost two years ago uh, at our board meetings. Um, and through the tireless efforts of our lobbyist, Lori Clark, who spent many, many days and many hours uh, working uh, down in Trenton, helping us tailor the bill, uh, we started to come up with a MAC transparency bill. The PBM MAC transparency law, in essence, gives us a reverse audit capability where we actually can challenge the reimbursement that is, that is uh, given to us by the PBM, and challenge it according to MAC protocols, and uh, there's a 30-day window in order to, to make that challenge and a return 30-day window where the PBM has to basically answer. This is subject to the, uh, under the Department of Banking and Insurance, so we have a governmental body that can actually promulgate the regulation. So it is up to us to, to create these reverse audits, but it does give us the capability to do that. And, and, th and thus better compete in the pharmacy prescription marketplace. The work that was put in is obvious because the bill passed unanimously and the governor signed it with no condition. So I think the, all the groups, all the independent pharmacy groups in the state of New Jersey did an outstanding job on this for, on behalf of our members.